Hi there, welcome to Bite Size Piano. In this video I'm going to teach you how to play the piano arrangement of Faded by Alan Walker. So this is my own arrangement um, and I've made the sheet music available on my Patreon which I've linked in the description below. So if you'd like to access the sheet music you can find it there. I've based it off the original track. So we'll mostly be playing the melody line in the right hand and then playing the repeated chord progression in the left hand. So before we get into the tutorial, if you're brand new here, welcome and please consider subscribing. I put loads of new tutorials out every week, so go check my channel, have a little rummage around there, see what else you can learn. Of course, give the video a like if you have enjoyed it and that it's been useful. I do take piano tutorial requests, so stick around to the end of the video where I can give you specific instructions on how to request one. This one is in the key of F sharp major, so it's very heavy on the black notes. So on the screen now are all the notes of the scale of F sharp major. So the melody line and the chords are formed using these notes. We're going to be looking at all of the sections today, not just one section. On the screen now are all of the sections we're going to look at. The ones in orange are the ones that we're going to go through and the ones in grey are just repeats of those other sections. So we're going to start with the intro in the right hand. Here is middle C for reference. If you locate that pitch on your piano, and we're starting on the F sharp above middle C. So the intro goes F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, A sharp, D sharp, D sharp, D sharp, C sharp, A sharp, A sharp, A sharp, A sharp, E sharp, we're gonna call it F, 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 D sharp. So just quickly, the reason why it's called actually called an E sharp is because in the key signature of F sharp major, the the E is actually an E sharp. I won't go into depth with why, but um, just for E's sake, I'll call it an F, but it is actually called an E sharp. So I'll do that again. So the left hand is playing these chords. So I'm just going to talk you through the chords first, and they're all played in the root position. So the first chord is a D sharp minor, which is D sharp, F sharp, and A sharp. The next chord is B major, which is B, D sharp, and F sharp. The third chord is F sharp major, which is F sharp, A sharp, and C sharp. And the fourth chord is C sharp major, which is C sharp, E sharp, and G sharp. So in this arrangement, I've made the left hand so it does one of two things. So it's either gonna be playing those chords four times each, just all the notes together, it's breaking those up, like a classical Alberti bass line fashion. So like down, up, middle, up or low, high, middle, high, 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 low, high, middle, high. So it's going to be doing one of those two things. So that's the only time I'm going to teach the left hand. And I'll tell you which way it's being played in which section. Again, just to keep it simple and just to keep the emphasis more 
on the melody line in the right hand. But those are the four chords that run all the way through the song. So I'm going to slowly put the intro together for you now. This also makes the outro as well. So now we're on to the verse, and the left hand is going to be playing those chords four times each. And then we're going to have a look at the melody line in the right hand now. So the first part of the verse goes F sharp, F sharp, D sharp, F sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, F sharp, F sharp, C sharp, A sharp. So entirely on the back notes. I'll do that first bit again. And then the next part, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F, 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 D sharp, F sharp. And then the last bit of the verse goes F sharp, F sharp, D sharp, F sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, F sharp, F sharp. C sharp, A sharp, and the very last bit, F sharp, F sharp, D sharp. And then it's into the pre-chorus. So now I'm going to play the verse for you, hands together, very slowly. start the pre-chorus. So I'm going to teach you the pre-chorus and then I'm going to join everything together that we've done so far so you can see how it transitions. The left hand is now going to go back to playing it in this way. So the right hand, so I just showed you the first bit just then, so A sharp, A sharp, A sharp, A sharp, and then does that again. And then again, Where are you now? and then the Was it all just a fantasy? So in that bit goes G sharp, G sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp, and then Where are you now? And then we have F sharp, F sharp. F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F, F, F sharp. So I'll just play all of the pre-chorus in the right hand.
So I'm going to fit that together with the left hand now. So now I'm going to connect the intro, the verse and the pre-chorus together for you now. Okay, now on to the chorus. So the left hand is going to go back to playing the chords like this on the beat. And then we're going to have a look at the melody line now. So, where are you now, Atlantis? So that bit goes A sharp, A sharp, A sharp, A sharp, F sharp, D sharp, C sharp, F sharp. C sharp, C sharp, A sharp, F sharp, C sharp, C sharp, A sharp, G sharp. And then the next part goes A sharp, A sharp, A sharp, A sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, B, and then C sharp. A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, C sharp, A sharp, G sharp, B. And then we're faded. That bit goes F, B, A sharp. So I'm going to slowly put that section now hands together. And this is the same for the last chorus as well.
And then we're gonna switch from playing in the right hand, the vocal melody line, to this synth part. So I'm gonna teach you that now. So the left hand is carrying on just playing the chords, how we were doing on the beat. The synth is, it's also, it's almost got like a delay effect on it. So you can play it like that if you want to. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. But I'm just gonna play those notes as single notes. So it sounds a bit more like a delicate melody. F sharp, A sharp, F sharp, F, D sharp, C sharp, G, A sharp, C sharp, B, A sharp, F sharp, F, G sharp, E, F. <laughs> I'll just do that again. And then it almost does it again. And then the end bit goes F sharp, G sharp, F sharp. So I'm gonna fit that bit together now and then I'm gonna play the entire chorus for you. to the second verse. So I'm going to play the chorus for you now all the way through. So that's exactly the same for the last chorus as well. So now we're going to have a look at the second verse. So the left hand, in this time in the verse, is breaking up the chords in this way. So that's what the left hand is doing. The vocal melody line of the second verse is almost the same as the first one. It's just slightly different. So I'm doing it in line with what she's singing and the different syllables. Um, so it's ever so slightly different because obviously she's singing different words. So we have F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, F sharp, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F, 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 D sharp, F sharp, and the next part, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, F sharp, C sharp, A sharp, and the very last bit, F sharp, F sharp, G sharp. 
I'll just play you that first melody all the way through. So I'm going to very slowly fit that together with the left hand. the pre-chorus which the first bit is dissimilar so I'm going to play that for you now Then this next bit is slightly different. So it's the part where she's singing Under the bright but faded lights you set my heart on fire. So we have F sharp, C sharp, C sharp, A sharp, F sharp, C sharp, C sharp, A sharp, F sharp, C sharp, C sharp, G sharp, F sharp, F sharp. And the very last little bit, F sharp, C sharp, C sharp, A sharp, F sharp, C sharp, C sharp, A sharp, G sharp. And then we have this like vocal spliced effect thing going on. <laughs> so, so there we're gonna go F sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, C sharp, A sharp, F, F sharp. To where are you now? Into the chorus. So I'm just going to put that last bit, the bum bum ba -dum, ba -dum, hands together very slowly for you. So I'm going to play all of the second pre-chorus for you now and then straight into the last chorus and then into the outro as well because that's all the same. So I'll play it all slowly.
So that concludes the tutorial. I hope that you have enjoyed it and that it's been useful. In order to request a piano tutorial, you do need to be subscribed and you need to click on this video, which takes you through to my official request space. All requests are noted and considered. Make sure to hit the notifications bell because your requests could be coming up soon. I will see you in the next one.